Hi everybody and welcome to Josiah is Right. So a little bit late, but we're gonna finally have our thrift store finds for the month of April. So we are in mid-May already, but April was a great month for thrifting. So first things up, I have Benedict Cumberbatch here. So this is a Sherlock vinyl. It is from Titans Vinyl Figures, which I don't really collect. You can see a lot of Kid Robo behind me and a few others. And I wouldn't have bought this, you know, new in the box when it's 10 plus bucks, but this was a dollar at a thrift store, so you can't beat that. So I admit I've never watched Sherlock, but I will take a giant headed Benedict Cumberbatch for $1. Next up, our first comic book. So this one is Spider-Man 583. Nothing particularly special about it. It's pretty recent, but I really like the sort of throwback art here, the John Romita style. And the cool thing is inside this one, if you look, this is also the Obama issue. So this is the famous issue when Obama was elected where there was a variant cover with Obama on it. I think there was also one with Stephen Colbert, if I'm not mistaken, or uh, around that time that was when that happened, but very cool comic. So this is, I guess that's crazy. This is almost 10 years old now. This month, I also found Heir to the Empire from the Timothy Zahn Star Wars follow-up trilogy. The original Star Wars trilogy follow-up for most of us, at least those of us in at least your 30s was this. Right. This was the first book of the three of the trilogy that followed up Jedi with Dark Jedis, not Siths. Um, this book was found at a library bookstore for $1.50 and you can see it looks like pretty much completely unread. Great condition book, awesome read, and I haven't read it in a few years, probably been five years actually. I did recently reread the first two books of this cycle, didn't read the third one oddly, um, when the episode seven was announced. So it's kind of fresh in my memory, but not super fresh. It's been probably five years. Sticking with Star Wars, I have a whole bunch of Star Wars comic books. So these are great. These are all recent, you know, since the Disney relaunch and Dark Horse no longer makes them. Obviously Marvel does now with the uh, ease of co-branding. But here we have comics that were actually not purchased by me, but were donated. So I wanna say thank you, David and Ashley. You're getting married soon and you gave me a wedding gift. This month, I also found a couple of cool, weird comic books here. So these are sort of classic editions. You can see classic Spider-Man and Avengers comic and, Sp and Spider-Man in the Silver Surfer. Now these are really meant for kids, but the cool thing is, especially in this first one here, they're really reproductions, reprints rather, of um, early Spider-Man issues, early issues with these characters. So they're really fun, nothing particularly uh, unique about them, um, but they're just fun, different, like magazine sized books, which is just a fun find. I actually found these with the Spider-Man comic book I showed earlier, these were actually bundled together. So it was all four of these for I think two or to four dollars, I can't remember exactly how much, but a good find, found this at a, local thrift store in Anaheim. This is Master of the Universe, The Horde Kids Storybook. Now, I found this one actually looking for a book for my daughter. So Penny, we buy her plenty of golden books, right? The little golden books, you can get those in thrift stores for 25 cents, you usually buy four, you get one free, that kind of thing. Really good deal, really cheap. Kids books are cheap and often they are barely read or totally unread. This one is pretty well read, but for being from the 80s is not that bad. So. And Penny gets a collector's item of her own, and it is the hoard with some kind of questionable artwork on the inside. Not the highest quality, but as a kid, I would have loved it either way. Staying on the uh, He-Man theme, and perhaps my favorite find this month is this Knight Strider figure. The horse that is missing some guns, but I found this for $2.50, and it was half off. So you cannot beat that for a classic He-Man toy from the 80s. It is not in the greatest condition, but I don't care. I never had this as a kid, and I am happy to jam a He-Man figure in there and have him ride a mountain. The last find of the month actually wasn't a thrift store find, but another gift. So my friend Paul went on a wonderful journey to Europe. He was there for several months and he was missed, but we're glad to have him back and we're glad that he brought us a gift. So he brought this awesome light up Mega Man. So this little 8-bit guy was purchased in Dublin and although it's not a thrift store find, I wanted to say thank you, Paul. And he will soon be adorning the shelves behind me or maybe the bookshelf or maybe in the gaming area, appropriate place for Mega Man. So thank you, Paul, for Mega Man. So one other thing I found, which is an awesome find, you don't usually see these at thrift stores, but I got one and it is a baby. So this baby appears to be about three months old um, it needs to work on its alphabet as the alphabet only goes up to D. It, it seems to have one hand missing, but you know, that's a cool special feature. I'll check into that though. But what do you think, Penny? Huh? What do you think? So this is my daughter, Penelope, and she is an awesome kid. And she goes to thrift stores with me. So thank you guys. 
Be sure to like, subscribe, and comment. Tell me what is your favorite thrift, thrift store find? Who is your favorite baby? And it's, I'm sure it's Penny. So thank you guys so much. Make sure when you subscribe, hit that bell so you know when new videos come out. I make new videos every, I release new videos every Sunday and Thursday. So thank you guys so much. I appreciate your time, as does Penny.